my youtube channel learn it with venkat this is dr venkatesan in this video we are going to see about uh, what is the use of sbc and how it is used for implementing the smart room temperature monitoring system using cisco packet tracer okay go to the cisco packet tracer so this is my work area and first i am in need of uh, sbc so go left bottom and here you will have a component like board just click that board and uh, parallel you will get three devices one is mcu board and the uh, second one is the sbc board actually mcu is nothing but microcontroller unit by using this also you could uh, build a design but here uh, first i am starting with sbc so sbc so sbc is nothing but uh, this is we called it a single board computer which is simply we call it as a raspberry pi okay so mcu is nothing but arduino boards controllers kind of things okay so by using this i am going to create simple scenario here for that first i am in need of temperature sensor so type temperature in your search and you will get two things one is temperature monitor and a temperature sensor so i am in need of temperature sensor so this is my temperature sensor can maximize okay now you could see easily and uh, this is temperature monitor this is temperature monitor and followed by the time in need of cooler so c o o l so this is my cooler and followed by the time in need of heater so two elements here i am ad adding so cooler and heater so based on my room temperature i am going to automate which device is going to on okay whether the cooler or heater and uh, i am in need of one lcd display to display which device is on so this is my lcd display okay so uh, this are the devices which i am in need of for my topology okay now i want to connect it so go to the connection and for this from the last second if you move your mouse you could see at the bottom iot custom cable so this is the iot custom cable so for giving multiple connection use control key to select it control select it release the control and click your sbc d0 so d0 digital d means digital and a means analog so d0 of your sbc and d0 of your temperature sensor and uh, d1 of your sbc and d0 of your cooler and d2 and here d0 d means digital a means analog okay and uh, d3 to display d0 no need to connect this so just give escape this is just to display the temperature of your room okay later uh, later videos i will tell you what is the use of this this you can register with your server so as of now here i don't have any uh, lan network devices like switches router servers and nothing this uh, video intend to give you how to use your sbc board by using the programming okay so now d0 of your sbc connected with your temperature sensor d1 is connected with your cooler d2 is connected with your heater d3 is connected with your lcd monitor okay so among all these devices which is going to be the input and what are all the devices are going to be the output we have to decide so which is going to be your uh, input means this room temperature sensor is going to be your input so this temperature sensor will give you the input value of your room temperature and based on that you are going to take the decision whether cooler or heater has to on so here you are having one input and one two and three outputs here i am going to display ac on or heater on so i am having three outputs here and with one input so go to your sbc click your sbc that i am just moving all the devices to this side 
then this could be easy for you to see ok so once you click the SBC go to programming by default you will have a blink program in Python you could easily edit it so go into that main so you will have uh, some coding part I am zooming it for clarity ok ok so first these two line statements are packages GPIO means general purpose IO input output general purpose input output package and time is a package for sleep for delay purpose ok and define main this is my main method and this is a python program so there is no curly braces brackets this is uh, this program is work in terms of indentation space and tab ok so this is my main method and the first statement after this main method just give enter automatically your mouse will go inside as per the enter don't give any unnecessary space just type once your cursor goes into that place after giving enter ok so first I have to decide which is my input and which is my output this pin mode is to decide your status of your pin whether it is going to act as input or output so pin mode you can copy paste also so which is our input in your SBC board D0 is connected with temperature sensor so 0 is input and 1 2 3 are output so 0 comma input type input ok and uh, one is output one is connected with cooler you can copy this and uh, after this statement just give enter don't give any space just paste it enter space it okay. uh, space it ok so one two and three so zero is your input and one two three is going to be your output and uh, I'm just printing the message instead of blinking I'm printing smart room temperature ok and while true this is going to be always true so this loop will iterate infinity times ok infinite number of times this loop is going to iterate so inside this I am going to write my coding part so first give enter just give enter after this colon just give enter automatically your cursor will go into that indentation ok one tab so here I am creating a variable temp equal to I am going to read the temperature sensor here so digital is a method digital read is a method digital read of what is the input number 0 so 0 so this method digital read will read the value of your temperature sensor ok here I am not going to use any mathematical calculation to convert that into temperature uh, Fahrenheit Celsius just I am going to get it directly later I will give you the uh, uh, formula also this is for practice now so no need to convert that formulas and all so after that I want to print the value what is that value so here I am printing temperature which is going to be my temperature variable so this will print it in this output window bottom what is your room temperature which is an integer value ok so temp is going to be printed here I getting the value and here I am going to print it so now I am going to write the condition if temp for example if it is greater than or equal to 520 520 is the number because it is going to display the uh, temperature in numbers ok in uh, integer like not in Celsius not in Fahrenheit for that if you wish to print it in a Fahrenheit or in Celsius you have to use the mathematical formula I am not using it ok this is for our practice now so I am just direct value I am going to use it so temperature is greater than or equal to 520 enter so if you, you noticed here I think see once I have given enter automatically the cursor goes inside ok so no bracket and all so if it is greater than or equal to 5, uh, 520 then digital write of I want if your temperature is high I want my cooler to on so cooler is connected with 1 so 1 comma high high means up ok high means up I don't want these statements so I'm just deleting it okay 
digital right of high uh, one comma high and if cooler is on i want two comma low two comma low means two is connected with your heater so heater low means off so when your ac cooler is on your heater should be off and followed by that custom right off your lcd is dis uh, display is connected with pin number 3 so 3 comma what is the message ac hyphen on ac hyphen on this message will be printed on the lcd which is connected with the pin number 3 for writing the content in the lcd you have to use the method called custom right okay and for writing the operations behaviors on the iot device you have to use digital right you could see here also if you click any iot device if you have a if you look at the specification you will have a uh, see here digital right they will give you the description also connect device to mcu or sbc use method called what digital right like that all the devices if you click see all the devices will have that api api means application programming interface that methods what method you have to use it for interacting with this devices they have given and uh, if condition is over just give enter and delete for else statement so else colon and uh, i'm just copying all these three else means this is less than 520 so if it is less than 520 i want my heater to on and i want my ac to off so just interchanging this low and high if it is high temperature ac has to on heaters has to off if it is less than that my heater has to on my ac has to off and three comma here heater on okay that's it after this give enter delete and uh, here you give the delay for iteration delay for example one second okay thousand millisecond equal to one second that's it and uh, this is your method invoking statement to call your main method to call your main method that's it now run your program see my room temperature now it is printing here 509 so if it is now this condition not matched so you can see here my heater is on my heater is on okay here you could see the lcd display heater is on which device is on until it reach 520 heater will be on once it reach 520 and above now you can see cooler will get on and here you will get the value of your room temperature in celsius okay so now 518 wait for that now see 522 is my value and uh, it is changing because heating and heating the element now see cooler is getting on and heater so based on the conditions you can play with these conditions by using else if statement so heater is on you can hear a display also lcd display also you could notice which is on and off ac is on now so if you want to stop stop it and uh, clear the output screen this is your output screen okay and this is the program for simple and here if you want to add uh, for example else if so elif else if statement if temperature is less than for example uh, uh, if the temperature uh, if it is for example greater than 520 you ask that cooler to on suppose if the temperature is too high which means too cool so less than 480 then i want this statement here i want this statement which means less than 480 means too cool so i want that heater to on and uh, ac to off and display the message else suppose if it is in between i want everything to off so low i am here displaying normal temp okay 
so here if your temperature is too hot i want that ac to on and heater to off if your room temperature is too cool less than 400 or 480 i want heater to on and ac to off if it is in between i am deciding that my room temperature is normal so no need of cooler and no need of heater also now run the script so now my room temperature is 546 so my cooler is on so like this you can play with that here ac on so until it reduced 538 until it reduced to 480 the cooler will on okay once it reach 480 less than 480 your heater will automatically on okay so this is that simple script you could play with this with different different conditions and threshold values okay hope you all understand thanks for watching it if you like this video click like button subscribe this channel and share with your friends okay see you in the next video bye bye